If she drives an old beat up Toyota, Honda, Nissan, if it's beat up, she doesn't care about her life. She just, she would not care about you. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Rain. I got a crazy video for y'all today. This one's called "When Cops Fix Your Bad Attitude." Let's get into it. Make sure that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe. You're drunk on the side of the road with a car that's disabled, so I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. My car is abled, actually. What is abled? It's gonna be, it's gonna be that kind of video. Huh? All right, let's get into it. Man. Let's, I hate I hate whenever there's like somebody that's drunk, or even not even even if they're sober and they're just dumb, and they try to act like a smartass when they they know they're in the wrong. Old man, she needs to stop right now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Have a seat. In Central Florida, <laughs> officers <laughs> she just threw her ass down. Just threw her ass down like a goddamn cornhole sack. That's crazy. Officers were dispatched to a disabled vehicle causing a roadblock. But, and um, I'm not, I didn't see her behind the wheel, okay. and I don't know if her friend saw her behind the wheel or not, but okay. this oil slick goes all the way back through that intersection. Oh, I smell it. And I haven't gone all the way down there, I haven't gone through the intersection to see what part of the median she hit, but there's oil on the ground under the Damn. car, there's oil all the way through, all four of her tires are popped, all of her rims are bent, she probably hit the something. median. Okay, um, when you pulled up, she was just sitting on the curb like that? The, Two females were standing next to the car, and there was a male that had also stopped. But he's gone. He's long gone. So they were standing next to the car. Yeah. Her her car is disabled. I can't even push it out of the way. But, and then. This but they is, were standing on the driver's side. They were standing by the hood of the front of her of her vehicle. All right. Um. They wanted to know if the fire, if we needed to. Yeah. They got it. <laughs> If they could get their thoughts together, bro, they could easily. Nah, that wouldn't even go by. Never mind. I'm shut up. I was going to say that they could, like, say there was somebody else driving. And when all this went down, they just left them. They just, they just left them to there. Or he or she, whatever. But no, that wouldn't work. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I see it. No, that's. <coughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, Who whose car is that? As if we know. Excuse me? I don't know who the car that is. That car? No, that car. That's I'm not talking about this car, I'm talking about this car. this car. Either way, we don't know whose car that is. Okay. This is her car. This is my car. That's okay. not my car, Katie. That's not your car right there? The one right there. No, the one right there is not my car. Physically. I'm talking about this car. I'm talking about this car. That is my car. Okay. I've been talking about this car the whole entire time. Okay, great. So what's what's going on? You're drunk on the side of the road with a car that's disabled, so I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. My car is abled. Actually, what does abled mean? It can drive. Okay. This is what I want to do because it this is going to cause an accident in itself. Can we get off the median? Okay, we're going to go over here. <coughs> I'm not driving off the road. I'm driving crazy. Okay. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay. okay. I, I don't need an attitude. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out what's Sorry. going on. Why would you like us to go? I just want to. Hold on, we're just gonna go across the street so we're not in the middle. Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. Well, I don't want you to get hit. Are you sure? Listen, <laughs> listen, just take it down a notch, okay? I'm here because that vehicle is disabled, okay? You clearly hit something, okay? I like the cop's demeanor because sometimes it never just happens. If it's one person that has an attitude and they're friends with them, sometimes a cop would be a dick and take it out on both of them. But she's doing the right thing, though. She's not taking down anybody, but you know what I mean when I say that. Like, 
she, even though she has an attitude, she's not giving her, you know, shit. And then when shit pops off, she's not going to pop off on her too as well. So. Okay, and I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, okay. It's okay. So is this your vehicle? Yeah, that's my car. <clears throat> okay. Do you have your license on you? Or is it in the car? It should be in the car. It's not on my hand. Okay. Are you the registered owner of the vehicle? Of the license registration, yes. That's your car, though? Yeah. You're the registered owner? Do you know what happened? Can you tell me what happened? No, there is no license to that car. I don't know what that means. I'm trying to figure out what happened. What Do you know what happened? She doesn't know what happened. Okay. There's nothing so happened So, did she car. call you and you came? Yes. Okay. Um... So when you got here, where was she? She was right here. She was in the car? And I put my hazard lights on to try and stop I, anybody from... Thank you. I appreciate it. And that stuff. Okay. All right. Um, I feel bad for her. She's probably going through some shit. They're like, nobody, nobody gets that drunk just, you know, for the hell of it. If you do, you need help. But I feel like she might be going through some shit in her personal life. But still, that doesn't give you an excuse to act like that at all. <coughs> Are you hurt at all? She's okay. <coughs> Do you need medical? No, I'm about to clear my damn throat. Ain't... Okay. I'll be right back. It's, yeah. I mean, you can smell it. Alright, they're gonna go look and see what kind of damage there is. Okay. Okay. Are you doing okay? Am I doing damage? Like, things in your lung, huh? Like, please leave me Can you alone. go sit on my car, please? Yeah. Um, Come over to I'm going to need you to sit down. Hey, oh, God forbid, it's out the car. Okay. Yeah, let's go get these cars. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. She's staying here. She's staying with me. Now I'm staying here. Just have a seat. Have a seat. I would love to. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So you bullshit. Like, I've been in this like race whatever the fuck I've been being like I've been I thought shit, like you I've been Craig Edelman's daughter I've been her stepdaughter I've been her fucking everything like fuck you your friends here are trying to help you why are you, you know, being it's like not that about Craig Edelman's whatever the fuck you don't even know who that is That's I don't even great. know what you're talking about I love that for you okay I really do all right don't feed into it you know what you, Kaylee. You know what? For real? Don't help me. And she's gonna say fuck you to the only person that's different. Yeah, no. No. No, 100%. You don't know who the fuck, like, the sheriff's office is? You know what? Really just leave me alone. That, but you, have to just you know what? Leave me alone. Because I know what the fuck it is. The sheriff's office. I know what the fuck it is. This. With everything else. So please leave me alone. I'm not going to. The last sucks for you because I know what everything is. Besides, well, I could have left you, so I didn't. Yeah, you could have, but you didn't. But it sucks so for you. What does that mean? Nothing, honestly. It means nothing. It means nothing. You're in there. Do you deal have? For us with all do you have your license on you at all? Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Can I just come talk to you for a minute? <laughs> I know this is your friend and everything, but would you be willing to give me a statement saying that you saw her behind the wheel? I know that's putting you in a difficult situation. I don't but want to do that to her. Okay. It's just she could have. I know. She, she could have really know. hurt someone, I know, I know, I know. and I I don't know how often she does this, but. And the way that she's <coughs> acting towards you, that's not fair. Um, she's a good friend. You can tell she really cares about I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. No, it's a, you, you don't have to apologize to me. It's not fair. I mean, you don't, well, I don't, you don't even... Do. Well, you don't even have to do anything written. I... Yeah, Look at this happy jolly fuck right here. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not even gonna say that in a minute. Uh -uh. Uh.
<laughs> He's just trying to lighten the mood. You can't even blame him. I mean, if you just want to verbally tell me. I mean, you already told me. Shout out to fire! Shout out to firefighters, bro. <laughs> Once I got here. <laughs> I just was trying to protect her. Yeah, well, and she I is also a gr here. she's also a grown uh, grown adult. I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. I just don't know what to do. Because I'm wrong either way. I'll give you a minute. Okay. Where's the damage at? It's right here, girl. It's a minor grass, but that's about it. So the okay. so the so the middle lane ends and then the median starts. Yeah. She smashed the median head on, ripped off her oil pan, went through the grass, like I said, tore the grass up a little bit, it's really not a whole lot, and basically just drove, went back up on the median again. Same kind of concept, just tore the grass up a little bit and then finished you. Okay. But didn't hit any signs, no no property damage that I could see besides just a little bit of grass. Okay. The curb is what did all the damage. While the car crash investigation was being conducted, the woman stood up and started walking away from the scene. Hey! She needs to stop right now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Sit, Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Sit on the ground. Have a seat. For what the fuck do you want? I ain't gonna lie, that was kinda unnecessary though. That that little heel kick, that, that was unnecessary. Stop. Cause you're running away. Yes. For what reason? You were involved in an accident and we're still doing an investigation and what you're walking accident? the opposite direction. What accident now? You wanna block me from now? Just relax and sit down. Oh, and now it's you relax and sit down. We were asking you to sit there the whole entire time. Okay, so this is this is what's happening. Okay, so y'all are a bunch of fucking bullshitters, bro. You have to do a crash. Correct. Report. Okay. Yeah, I get you. So you done with your crash crash investigation? Are you? I'm solid. Okay. Well, I'm gonna move into my DUI. You know what? Because you have your whole your whole course investigation. I'm so glad for you. What, bitch, what? Okay, so he did the crash investigation, and now I'm moving into a DUI investigation. Okay? Can't wait for that, y'all, for you. Okay, well, I just gotta read you something, okay? Before we ask you any questions, you must know your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions and to have okay, him with you during right. questioning. Down. Have a seat. I don't have to stand up for this. Yes, you. We're asking you to have a seat. I'm glad that you're asking me, but like, I have a seat. seat. What don't you understand? I don't have a seat. Stop. Seriously, stop. I don't know why you're making this so difficult. Facts. So I ain't gonna lie, in some cases I've seen, bro, I've seen some cops go against their own knowing and law to like, it's like if you were drunk and you got in a DUI crash or you just kind of crash and you was kind of drunk. If you're polite and kind, you, you could talk your way out of that, bro. They, especially if you got a friend there with you, they'll literally just let you hop in the car with them, your shit will get towed, and then boom, you're done for after that, you know what I'm saying? Just go home, sleep it off. But no, some people that be dickheads like this, and then you know you end up going to jail. Your car gets towed, and there's fees on top of fees, and then you get put on probation for DUI. Whole list of stuff, bro. Like so, people literally talk their way into bigger shit when they should just shut up, honestly. <coughs> okay, now have a seat, please. Have a seat. We'll, we'll help lower you down. See? 
And that's a prime example too right there. I'm not trying to yap too much, but that's a prime example. All she had to do was sit down with her hands still free, hands still free. And now guess what? She has to sit down when she has to have her hands behind her back. So now that's going to be painful. That's going to be painful now. So you just talk yourself into deeper shit. <clears throat> okay. okay. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before we ask you any questions, if you wish. If you decide to answer any questions now without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? <laughs> yeah. Having these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me? Too many, unfortunately, yeah. Too many what? Too many wishes, yeah. I've unfortunately been available to you, yeah. 100%, yep. Okay. Well, do you want to do some field sobriety exercises? Unfortunately, no, I do not. Okay. All right. We are under arrest for... Driving under the influence and driving on a suspended license. Damn. Can't wait for that from me. Okay. I'm gonna put you in the back of my car. Okay, let me just pat her down real quick. Yeah. You're gonna get a couple resisting charges too, oh, like since you can't follow instructions. Resisting, I follow instructions. Right. Nothing on you that's gonna poke sticks at me. Will you agree to a breathalyzer? Sure. Okay. Alright, let's go this way. Is there anything out of your car we're going to need? No, no. <clears throat> now, I was going to say, like, through like the halfway minute mark, like, especially like right here, I can kind of tell it's not just alcohol. Like, you can kind of tell. Have a seat, watch your head. I'm gonna check her car real quick. Yep. You just wanna stand by? Yep. Thank you. Yep. Well, that car has been fucked up before this. Tape on the back? No. Take her driver's license away. It's already been taken away. What am I saying? Bro. Golf one to Melbourne. If you if you talking to a female, bro, you just not meeting her. Always look at her car. Her car can tell you so many things that you need to know about her. If it looks like this cut her off I'm telling you if her car looks like this cut her off I'm talking about before it was not drivable drivable um she has a whole bunch of condom wrappers that should that you should that should be a no-brainer um if it's very dirty that should tell you a lot about herself and all yeah that should tell you a lot like roaches and shit Up 1015 for signal one, Dwillis, and resisting without. If she drives an old beat up Toyota, Honda, Nissan, if it's beat up, she doesn't care about her life. She she would not care about you. Huh. 
she's done for. She's done for. She's done for. Still has alcohol in it. Yep, she's done. The woman received multiple citations, including driving under the influence and three counts of resisting an officer without violence. That's crazy. Let me know your thoughts on that right there, man. Also, make sure that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe, and we're gone. Peace.